Well, hello chaps, it's Commodore Graham here, and I thought it was about time to do an update video on how I handle my audio when I'm recording in OBS, because there have been some changes, hopefully for the better. Um, what I'm going to do this time, however, because, well, it makes sense, is I'm going to show you, or rather let you listen to, what my voice sounds like without all of the filters, etc., etc., so that you have some sort of uh, point of comparison. So if I go into the settings for my microphone audio, I'll just turn off all the filters. So this is what I sound like now without the filters. I can't hear what it sounds like, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty nasty compared to what you were hearing before that. It's probably quieter. There's probably a bunch more noise uh, from, uh, for, from my PC fan and things like that. So let's uh, add the filters again. Noise suppression. So that should be stopping the fan noise pretty much, or at least reducing it. Noise gate helps, of course. Uh, I now have things set up so that I've got a compressor running as a limiter uh, before the main compressor. And I'll explain that. Firstly, um, I will show you all of, my, uh, all of my settings. So if you just want to pause and copy them, then that's, that's fine. So noise suppression, minus 45 decibels. Noise gate, there are my settings. There's like the five variables there. Uh, my first compressor, which is acting as a limiter. There you go. The second compressor that's acting, acting more as a normal compressor plus a gain boost. There you go. That's that. So let me explain what's going on here. Um, now the compressor has built into it a gain boost. Um, so that after you've compressed the volume, you can then turn it up and the whole point is that you make everything sort of more level so that you can then boost it everything's more um everything's more sort of consistent in volume and louder at the same time that's well the whole point of a compressor but the trouble with um turning up the output gain is it can cause some distortion from uh, bits of audio that kind of manage to squeak through the compressor i think that's I think that's how it happens as well. I'm not totally sure what the chain of events is in uh, in the compressor, but that's that's how it seems to be. I think so. What I figured is that I would set um, set another compressor up before the main compressor to use as a limiter. So that's got a threshold of minus twelve decibels and really squashes the signal by a ratio of 10 to 1. So there should be pretty much... N uh, oh, and it has no output gain. So, so the effect here is it should be pretty much squashing anything above minus 12 decibels so that hardly anything uh, of that sort will get through at all. Uh, and hence, when I increase the gain, uh, in the main compressor, when I increase the gain um, in the output by 10 decibels, well, I've already capped it at minus 12 decibels. So nothing should really be distorting very much as a result, unless my actual raw microphone audio is distorting. So uh, that's that's essentially the idea. Um, what else should I mention? Oh, uh, I should mention uh, what mic I'm using. I'm using a Blue Yeti uh, with a pop filter in front of it. I've got the gain on the microphone turned down as low as it can go. And I'm speaking from, I don't know, like a few inches, maybe like six inches away from the microphone. Uh, I like to be relatively close to the microphone because then uh, a lot more bass comes through in your voice and it, 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 it sounds nicer to my ears. So um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Feel free to um, to use my settings. Make sure you copy all of them though, because there's all of these like settings here, like the attack and release that, uh, that it's easy to miss. People tend to pay attention to the threshold and ratio and output gain, but this stuff, uh, a lot of the time people are like, what even is this? Uh, the the, the um, compressor that I'm using as a limiter 
for instance, I've got the attack um, turned down as well, well. I've turned down to as fast as it can go, if that makes sense. Like one millisecond here. The reason for that is to let as little through as possible, so as little stuff can distort as possible. So um, yeah. That's about it. Hope that video was useful for you. If it was, do please click the like button. It helps out rather a lot. Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. Share this video with anyone you think it might be useful to and subscribe if, and only if, you'd like to see more. Ta-ta for now, chaps.